In February 1966, my father, an Australian soldier, was deployed to Vietnam to serve a tour during the Vietnam War. He arrived in Bung Tau, and this is the place where he met my Vietnamese mother and fell in love. During the Vietnam War, Bung Tau was a city of both war and peace, serving as an important and active port and as a favourite r and spot for American and Australian soldiers. My mother could not speak English and my father could not speak Vietnamese. Somehow they knew what they felt was real and true. And from the moment my mum met my dad at the army base, a beautiful love story began. I was born in December 1966 at Le Loi Hospital in Bung Thao. In April 1967, Dad completed his tour and was sent back to Australia having no choice but to leave both of us in Vietnam. Back in Sydney, Australia, his thoughts were constantly with his Vietnamese love and his daughter. He wanted to go back to Vietnam to marry Mum and bring both of us back to Australia. However, the Army did not want complications with Australian soldiers marrying Asian citizens and they bluntly said no to my Dad's continual requests over a 10-month period. My Australian grandmother, who tired of this constant refusal, took it upon herself to visit the Victoria Barracks and insisted on meeting with the Brigadier. Grandma said to him, in her words, My son has requested for 10 months to go back to Vietnam and marry the mother of his child and bring them both back to Australia. If I'm not satisfied this afternoon, I'll be going to my Member of Parliament and to the newspapers. The Brigadier then replied to Grandma, Mrs Tadis, your son will be posted back to Vietnam post haste. And my dad was back in Vietnam in 10 days. When my father returned back to Vietnam, he was given permission to travel anywhere on RAF service flights to organise the paperwork to marry Mum and bring us both back with him to Australia. They married on the 26th of August in 1968 in a local Vietnamese registry office with a Salvation Army Padre as a witness. And last year, in 2018, we celebrated my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. Heading to Vung Tau, where I was born, and I'm really, I'm really excited. We're catching the high to fall across. Something to hold on to, gotta find it first 
after. So, I'm walking along. I think I've never been in a deep that so warm. It is warm, the water is warm. Uh, it's been 25 years since I've been here. I'm here in 1994 and it's just started opening up to tourism back in so it definitely has changed. The ferry ride was actually two hours. I just want to say that we were so beautiful no. doing this today because it means a lot to me. It does seem to bring you all. I know it doesn't, like we can't get internet, so we can't get Wi-Fi, so we can't research things. I don't know about it because I don't really remember Lungdao, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it does mean a lot just to be here. So we're having a nice lunch. Lunch. So Fraser's gone up here. Looks like it's a lovely resort up there to see whether we can uh, sit on the chairs. Of course it costs money. It's just a matter of how much. That is Lundau, Bag Beach. I can see why a lot of the uh, Saigonese is a break from the hustle and bustle of the sideline of the coaching.